Well, how are you going, YouTube, I guess, slash sort of, well, it's Twitch TV combination of it. I've never really revealed, see, uh, I do, I, I can do poetry and things like that, and I have done it in the past. Mostly it requires a certain level of inspiration in most cases, and most, some of it's a little darker, I guess, depending on the circumstances and how I'm feeling, certain things of that nature. Okay, I'll... I might just do some off the top of my head, let's see, because um, I've, I've already done to put some up on Facebook anyway, I just had to clear my head, but... The shadow men pull me in to their den of the fallen banes of blood that follow me in this distant wave. No center, no universe, no truth, devoid of all emotion, devoid of all... Diversity. I am a casted shadow of what I was and formerly will be. I know not who I am or where I've been. I just know that I've been here in the dark for ages. In the dark and falling, ever, ever so much falling. I call forth myself and the belief that everything around me is just turmoil, disaster. Ultimately, I don't know where it will end. I don't know if it will end. Because is there an ending? Or is it just a new beginning? I fall through this light I... I fall for myself, I, I don't know whether it's here or whether it's in stealth. Forgive me, for I know no boundaries, no ethical or moral points, I see nothing at all. But yet, there is always light at the end of the tunnel, always something to look forward to. Always something to make you forgive yourself. To drive your passion and desire for everything that you want or need. Forgive yourself. Forgive... I guess. Why is the question. We live for ourselves or for others. Do we care? Do we not care? Do we feel so much passion and desire inside ourselves for the people that we love that ultimately if we are separated from them it feels like we're falling abysmally for a dark abyss? Is that what it is? I mean, is that what love is? Is that what romance is? Is that what we are as a culture that we're so dark? That we can't see that love has been put down to simply something of a sexual nature. And always will come down to that. Pretty dark perspective if you ask me. But I guess it's just the way society's gone with some of its outlooks. Perhaps it's just the universe realigning. Perhaps there needs to be more balance to things. Darker things, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's funny with that. You, you always feel like you know, all the association anyway. Um, to quote the po the quote the poet in particular, which is of course Edgar Allan Poe. I, d I do love a lot of his work. It includes uh, a lot of ravens, and I, I always feel a, a bit of a, a draw towards raven sort of poems, in general. Well, you know, something of that nature, anyway. Dark things. <laughs> I'd say it. I mean, that's probably the association of it. I don't. Know. It, it, it's it's not the fact that I'm actually depressed or anything per se. I just. I'm feeling in a dark mood, and to be honest, that's just where my head's going with most of the stuff, you know, like, okay, for example, the dark wolf stalks, the dark wolf stalks me in the night, coming to me closer as I run away in fear and fright. I 
I know not what it will do to me. I know not where it will come, from which direction it will tear me limb from limb. Forgive me for what I have been and what I shall become. Hmm. Yeah, I think that would best describe, as I said, because I, 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 I do do my own poetry stuff. This is some of the darker side of it. I have done lighter stuff. And I do actually have some previous stuff that I have written down in blogs and stuff. Well, not blogs, but actually text documents and stuff like that I've done in the past. So this is some of my more darker stuff anyway. I, I don't know. I just wanted to point out that I'm not just an IT technician. I mean, I do love my IT, don't get me wrong. But it's not always about IT for me, it's it's about other things in my life as well, you know, and sometimes just the emotions that I'm feeling, or positive and negative, I guess, depending on the circumstance, or if I don't feel any emotions at all, or if I feel a particular dark, towards a dark path of, of a set of emotions sort of thing, and I mean, at the end of it, that's, that's some of the stuff that does happen to me sometimes, is I, I do get that stuff in my head. So what I've come to the conclusion is that sometimes it's good to get that stuff out. And I think from now on, I'll, I'll try and make a regular occurrence of doing some of my poetry stuff just to clear my head and basically make things a little bit more easier on myself, I guess. You know, at the end of it, I'll, I'll do that as best I can. Anyway, um, I think I'll leave it there. Thank you very much. It's just sort of me been doing a bit of, a bit of my own poetry. I hope you find it interesting. If you don't, that's cool. But, you know, um, it's always interesting, I think, to hear different poets. And I'm always, you know, I... I, I I honestly think I do have an artistic soul, I'll be honest. That's my true feeling on that.